Hello everyone and welcome back to the New York Jets franchise as the regular season for year six comes to an end tonight. Week 17 has the Jets hosting the Dallas Cowboys in a Sunday night showdown that could be the clincher for both teams making it into the playoffs. Dallas is led by the number two halfback in the NFL, Ezekiel Elliott. He's averaging seven yards per carry, and that has to be a focus of the New York defense. They also have a very solid roster that the Jets cannot be looking past. Dak Prescott, if he gets hot, can rack up a lot of yards through the air with Amari Cooper and newcomers Ethan Williams and Tristan Griffin. And then you have the defense, which has defensive end standout Demarcus Lawrence, whose aim will be to cause disruption in the backfield. Along with that, you have the talents of DB's Chidobi Abouzier and Byron Jones, as well as Jalen Smith in the middle of the field. This could prove to be a very challenging game for the Jets, especially if Elliott gets going early. Can New York get the running game established tonight against a defense that's been pretty stingy allowing rushing yards this season? Will Sam Darnold be hot or cold? The efforts of the passing game may be tested and if he's not on top of his game tonight, it could spell trouble for the offense. To find out, let's watch as the Jets try to contain a roaring Ezekiel Elliott here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. With Marcus McCollum back deep in the end zone, Daniel Carlson gets us underway here in MetLife. Ball goes through the back of the end zone and out to the 25. Dak Prescott is throwing 70% complete this season with 30 touchdowns, and he knows that he has to have a win here tonight. The throw goes out to Ethan Williams for a four-yard gain on the right-hand sideline. There is your look at the offense of the Cowboys, and that offensive line is one of the strongest in the league. So we'll see how the running game will go tonight. And there goes Ezekiel Elliott, but stopped by Jenkins for a one-yard gain. Prescott throws complete, and it's a first down out to Williams. Out the 38-yard line. The ball taken by Ezekiel Elliott, and he's out to the 42 for a four-yard gain. Third and six. Prescott, with all day to throw it, completes it to Amari Cooper. A first down at the 43 of the Jets. Dexter Williams gets caught for a one-yard gain. Stopped by Ja'Kai Polite. Elliott tries the right side and only gets a two-yard gain. Now the Cowboys at the 40. Dak Prescott, oh, day. Oh, man, the defense just isn't getting in that backfield. But Griffin doesn't get enough for the first down. Jonathan Brown comes on for a 50-yard field goal, and it is good. Now it's the Jets' turn. Sam Darnold with the same 30 touchdowns, just over 3,200 yards, but has 16 interceptions to go along with that. Now from the 27, Darnold back to pass, throws the screen pass, and Jackson is stopped in the backfield for a one-yard loss. Darnold drops back again, completes this one to Arsenault, out to the 37, and a first down. Now Jackson with the play action pass. Darnold completes this one out to the 46-yard line inside Dallas territory, and the Jets are on the move as well. Donald with another pass, throws over the middle, and it's complete to Valdez Scantling. A seven-yard pickup leaves third and one, and Wesco picks up the needed yardage 
just barely. And there is the defense of the Cowboys. Demarcus Lawrence heading that line. Jalen Smith in the middle of the field. And Byron Jones and Awuze on the other side. With Ross in tight, the ball goes to Jackson and Jalen Smith is down and he's being escorted to the locker room and that doesn't really spell good things for the Cowboys defense. Donald throws it deep and it's incomplete intended for Ross and broken up by Byron Jones. That brings on Daniel Carlson for a 53 yard attempt and it's through the middle. We have a tie ball game, 3-3 is your score. Now Prescott out of the shotgun. Drops back, throws deeper, and it's complete. Griffin makes the grab and draws a flag as well. That is going to be pass interference on the defense. It's against Brian Poole, but obviously is declined. So from the 29, the pass complete. Tyler Higby down to the 15 yard line. Now, Elliott running up the left side. Hash marks has the first down. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter. First and goal. Elliott stopped. Ja'Kai Polite making the tackle from the four yard line and it's a touchdown. Dak Prescott drops back to pass and Ethan Williams makes the grab in the end zone. Jamal Adams taking the bait and going the wrong way and just didn't have the speed to catch up to Williams before he made the catch. After a New York three and out, it is Cowboy football again and a big yardage play for Elliott going up the left side and out of bounds for a first down at the 45. Prescott on a read option play has some daylight and is down to the 29. A first down for the Cowboys again. Elliott powers his way and is finally tackled at the 24 yard line. Second and five. Elliott again with the first down to the 19. Williams now subbed in. Prescott with the play action pass is complete. Higby with the grab at the 10 yard line. Second and one. Williams still in the backfield and he takes the handoff. Clear sailing all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. That was just a perfectly blocked and red play. Williams going untouched into the end zone from 10 yards out. That just shouldn't happen. Now the Jets trying to return the favor. Jacobs with a big hole and a first down out to the 35 yard line. Now out of the eye formation. Handoff goes to Jacobs. He's up the hash marks and into Dallas territory at the 42 yard line. Jacobs has really been coming on for the last couple of weeks. Donald back to pass and runs out of time. Demarcus Lawrence gets in the backfield and makes his 10th sack of the season. Third and 19. Back to pass and Awuzie makes the play. The pass intended for Dawson Knox. And away goes the punt from Vedrick and it's down at the nine yard line. The Cowboys starting out in a hole. Ball given to Elliott. He has lots of room out past the 20 to the 23. And that gives them breathing room to this offense of the Cowboys. Elliott runs through the same hole as before. 
and gets out to the 30 for a seven yard pickup. The handoff goes to Elliott again, going to the right side all alone and into Jet territory all the way down to the 20 yard line. With just over two minutes left in the half, the Cowboys are in scoring position yet again. Now out of the shotgun, Prescott. With Elliott by his side, throws complete. Williams catches it at the 16 yard line. Four yard pickup and again Williams and this time for a first down at the eight. Prescott back to throw into the end zone and it's a flag on the play. Illegal touching and that'll bring it back out to the eight and it'll be second and goal. All alone Prescott throws and Higby catches it. Stops shy of the goal line at the four. Prescott on another throwing play into the end zone. Touchdown, Tristan Griffin. You can tell on the replay that Williams was expecting that pass, but Griffin was just there in front of him and he made the grab for the touchdown. Now 24 to three. 45 seconds left, and Darnold goes down. Armin Jefferson out of UCF makes the stop, and it's second and 18 from the 17 yard line. The pass is complete out to Valdez, Scandling to the 27. Still third and eight. And the long pass is incomplete intended for John Ross. And that takes us into halftime with your score 24 to three, the Cowboys. Now with an update, let's go to Eurocat baby. Just a brief injury update from the Dallas locker room. It seems that Jalen Smith has suffered a mild concussion and as protocol has it, he'll be out of action for the rest of the game. If you look at the score though, that hasn't kept the defense from stopping up the Jets' running efforts. Something that could affect both teams are the results of the games earlier today. For the NFC race, Dallas with this big halftime lead sit in the driver's seat for a spot as a wild card team. If the Jets can come back and win this game, the 49ers have the inside track. It's worth noting that the Saints have won their division with a mark of 9, 6, and 1. So they should be hosting either these Cowboys or the 49ers, depending on how the Jets do in the rest of the game. For the AFC, the Browns with a win over the Bengals have claimed a wild card spot. So as it stands, if the Jets actually lost this game, they would back into the playoffs as the number five seed in the conference. The pressure is now on Dallas to maintain their lead if they want to play in the postseason. Can they keep up the intensity? Stay with us because we'll be right back with the second half. Welcome back everyone to MetLife Stadium where Ezekiel Elliott and the Cowboys are running roughshod over the top of the Jets. New York hasn't been able to establish any kind of a run game while Sam Darnold can hardly complete a pass. On the other hand, Dak Prescott has only thrown one incompletion in the game, so the Cowboys have been moving the ball quite freely. Do the Jets have any answers heading into the second half? Let's find out as we continue our coverage. The Jets start out at their own 24 yard line. And Darnold on the first play of the second half completes it to Arsenault with the one handed grab. Third and 10 now. Darnold throws over the middle and is complete again to Arsenault. This time to the 44 yard line inside Dallas territory. And Darnold is sacked. Lawrence getting to him again. 
And that will turn the ball over to the Cowboys. Elliott goes up the middle for a nine yard pickup. Well, they're gonna credit him with eight yards on the pickup. And he powers his way forward to the 31 for the first down. The Jets defense now seeing regular doses of Elliott running the ball and that time for a six yard gain. Prescott with the play action pass and he's sacked. Blake Cashman getting to him back at the 29 yard line. And now it's third and 12. Prescott out of the shotgun throws the screen pass and Williams is tackled by May short of the first down so the Jets will get another opportunity second and 11 the pass is complete to Arson oh no he missed the catch and it's now third and 11 Donald back again and this time completes it out to Ross and he's down the sideline inside Dallas territory to the 31. Now over 1,250 yards on the season. Donald back again, this time complete to Herndon over the middle. A seven yard pickup. And oh, and Herndon just drops this one and Darnold is going really <laughs> really so that brings on Daniel Carlson and he knocks it through without a problem and it is now 24 to 6 the key is going to be stopping the Elliott freight train Prescott Throwing completion after completion. Makes this one good to Griffin. Downfield inside Jet territory at the 47. And another carry by Elliott. That brings us to the end of quarter number three with your score 24 to 6. Prescott on the play action pass and he is sacked. Lorenzo Carter getting to him back at the 40 yard line now a 57 yard field goal try by brown and it's no good off to the left and the score remains 24 to 6. eight minutes just a little over eight minutes left in the game and ross can't make the grab third and ten Darnold back to pass and goes down in the hands of Demarcus Lawrence yet again. Now in the zone. Fourth and 17. Darnold goes deep and it's incomplete. Broken up by Byron Jones. That will turn the ball over to the Cowboys at the Jet 40 yard line. Elliott up the middle to the 30 yard line for a nine yard gain. Another carry by Elliott inside the 30 and another first down. Williams gives Elliott a break and he gets down to the 21. Another carry by Williams, a first down, and he powers his way down to the 11 yard line. 27 yards for him on four attempts. Elliott back in the game. And a fake and a touchdown pass to Griffin, and I'm not so sure that that was a touchdown. Here on the replay, take a look at this. And he just looks like he's completely out of bounds for that catch, and they did not catch it. So the score is 31 to 6. Darnold back to pass, throws a into Nowheresville. Not sure where that one was going to. Second and 10. And a long pass. 
is knocked away by Arsenal. Third and ten. Uh, to the shotgun. Darnold all day to throw it. And this one is caught by Valdez Scantling for the first down. Another throw, and that one is caught by McLaurin. A flag on the play. And defensive pass interference is the call. And obviously that one is declined as well. Out of the shotgun. Darnold throws oh, over the <laughs> just over the top of McLaurin. And that'll bring up third and ten. The pass caught for a first down to the nine by Chris Herndon. His third reception of the evening. Now on third and goal. Darnold backpedaling to the left and this one is incomplete trying to get it to Arsenal. And they're going to kick a field goal. It's up and it's good. Daniel Carlson is three for three. But that isn't going to get him anywhere close to that 31 point lead by the Cowboys. Elliott runs left and is stopped by Lorenzo Carter. And that brings us to the two minute warning. Elliott alone in the backfield. I can't believe that they still have him in there. The Jets get the stop. And with a minute 49 left in the game, Darnold is back to pass. He gets sacked again by Demarcus Lawrence. He is certainly making his presence felt in this game. Second and 21. Darnold back to pass, throws an interception. Clinton Dix makes the grab and that should do it. The final score of this game, 31 to nine. The Jets losing their final game of the regular season. All I can say with this loss is <laughs> that it was a good thing that the Jets didn't need to win this game to back into the playoffs. Between the running of Ezekiel Elliott and the passing of Dak Prescott, the Cowboys just couldn't be stopped tonight. Couple that with the outstandingly poor performance of the New York offense, and you have a blowout in the making. The Jets only were able to muster 11 first downs in the entire game, which says volumes about why they weren't able to put more touchdowns on the board. They say that the prelude to touchdowns are first downs, and that rang true intensely this evening. With the number six defense in the league, I was absolutely blown away with Dallas's ability to move the ball almost at will. I realized that New York got behind in the game in a hurry, but I think they gave up on the run way too early tonight. Josh Jacobs seemed to be having a bit of success around the edges, and it would have been nice to see if the Jets could try a little more of that. Nine rushing attempts in the entire game is not what I would consider giving the run a fair shot, especially considering that John Ross was being blanketed by Byron Jones for most of the night. Beside that, he had a serious case of the drop season. Looking at the stats for the night, you can tell from a defensive perspective that the Jets had a lot of tackles, but that was because they were on the field way too much. And simply put, they got tired. Hats off to them for only allowing a single score in the second half. Too bad the offense couldn't take advantage of the Dallas absence of scoring ability it would have been nice to see the Jets put a few more points on the board at least. Moving to players getting upgrades from this game, we have a number of high profile guys moving up the rankings, starting with converted guard to center, 
Joey Sanders, benefiting from an agile upgrade with blocking being the focus of his improvement. Next is left outside linebacker Blake Cashman that gets a pass coverage upgrade where his awareness is the concentration of his enhancement. Next is defensive tackle Harvey Gabriel that's been filling in for the injured Dexter Lawrence. He gets a run stopper upgrade and benefits well across the board, but it's nice to see that he got a little stronger as a result. Finally, we have a right outside linebacker and rookie Demarcus Faulkner that gets a speed rusher upgrade, whereas power moves get the focus and it doesn't hurt that he gets a little stronger as well. Uh, well, now that the regular season is complete, let's take a look at who ended up getting into the playoffs from each conference. Starting with the NFC, the Bears win home field advantage and the Eagles, Rams, and Saints at 9-6-1 win the other divisions. They're followed by the Vikings and Cowboys filling in the wild card slots. In the AFC, the Titans win home field with the Bills, Ravens, and Chiefs all division winners. The Jets and Browns, both at 9 and 7, get in the playoffs in the AFC wild card positions. So wild card weekend looks like this. The Browns travel to Baltimore and play the Ravens for the third time this season. The Cowboys, by virtue of their win here tonight, visit the Rams out in LA. The Jets meet the Chiefs in KC and the Vikings travel to the Big Easy to face the Saints. Nothing has changed much for the Chiefs since their week five meeting with the Jets. That game was won by New York in MetLife, but this time Kansas City will have the advantage playing in Arrowhead. KC has one of the top rush defenses in the NFL, which doesn't bode well for an ailing New York running game. If the Jets are going to prevail in this game, I would think that it may have to rest on the passing game. That scares me a little since it's real hard to count on that Donald is going to have a good day on the gridiron. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and remember to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of new videos as they come out. The Jets have backed into the playoffs this season, and considering the troubles they've been having on the offensive side of the ball, have a huge test in KC this next week. Will this be incentive enough for the offense to make a stand, or can the defense come to the rescue against a very solid Chiefs squad? To find out, be with us in Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium for the Jets and Chiefs. And until then, to Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone.